Hi guys, Ms. Perkins here. Today, we're going to have a day to review for our test that is tomorrow. So let's look at this. I'm going to do one and then you're, I'm going to have a sheet that you're going to do one after me. Okay, so we're going to do one together, then you're going to do one by yourself. So this one shows 7 minus 2 equals blank. Well, we know that 7 is our whole, so we're going to draw our whole. So we're going to draw 7. The minus sign says take away and then it's 2. So we're going to take away 2. Take away two, circle the rest. Three, four, five. Blank equals nine minus five. Well, what is my whole? Nine, right? I am going to draw nine. Good. Take away how many? Five. Good. Circle the rest. How many is left? Four. Blank equals eight minus five. What is my whole? Eight. Good. Let's draw eight. Take away how many? Five. Cross that many out. Circle the rest. How many is left? Three. Good. What is my whole for 10 minus 3 equals blank? 10. Good. Take, so now I'm going to draw 10. Take away how many? Three. Good. Circle the rest. How many is that? Seven. Good. Now, um, if you're at school, the sub is going to pass this paper out to you. I want you to write your name on this, and I want you to do these first four at the top. My friends are at home. Your um, your parents should have either came and picked the paper up or should print it out for you. I want you to do these first four on your own, and then we're going to go over it. You can pause the video to be able to do this. All right, guys, let's go over this. 9 minus 2. Well, you draw the hole, which in this case is 9. Take away 2, circle the rest. There's 7 left. This one, 7 minus 5, 7 is the whole. Take away 5, how many is left? 2. Blank equals 10 minus 5. Oh, 10 is the whole. Take away how many? 5. Good, circle the rest. 5. 8 minus 3 equals blank. What is the whole? 8. Good. How many do we take away? 3. Circle the rest. How many is left? 5. Good. Now, we're going to do this one together. This one's not on your paper. So look at this. It says there are nine animals in the yard. Three of them are chickens and the rest are ducks. How many are ducks? We have to draw a picture, number, sense, and a statement. So there are nine animals in the yard. Three of them are chickens and the rest are ducks. How many are ducks? So now I'm going to do cubes. So there are nine animals in the yard. Three of them are chickens and the rest are our ducks. Oopsie, sorry. The rest is our mystery. I'm going to write our question mark. That means like our mystery. How many are ducks? Oh, that's my question. Million dollar question. Does the word problem tell us the whole yes or no? Thumb up or down? Yes, it does. Good. So now we're going to draw our whole, which is nine. What is the part they give us? Three. So I'm going to cross out three, circle the rest. What are my two parts? Three and one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to write a number sense. We can do an addition or a subtraction. So what is the number sense that we could do? I want you to whisper to um, someone next to you. What number sense would you do for this? Could you do three plus six equals nine? Six plus three equals nine? Or if you did subtraction, one, nine minus three equals six? Or nine minus six equals three? So blank or ducks. How many are ducks? Six. Good. Now this one is on your paper. I'm going to read this one to you and I want you to solve this one on your own. All right. It says there are blank. There are seven cookies. Five of them are chocolate chip and the rest are sugar cookies. How many are sugar cookies? There are seven cookies. Five of them are chocolate chip and the rest are sugar cookies. How many are sugar cookies? All right, guys, I'm going to read it again. I want you to do cubes. There are seven cookies. Five of them are chocolate chip, and the rest are sugar cookies. How many are sugar cookies? I want you to draw your picture, do your number sense, and your statement. Do this now. Pause the video, and then you can press play whenever you are ready to check your work. All right, so there are seven cookies. Five of them are chocolate chip, and the rest, whoopsies, I did it again. And the rest are uh, sugar cookies. How many are sugar cookies? Million dollar question. Does the word problem tell us the whole? Yes, it does. It is seven. So you should have drew seven. 
What's the part they give us? Five. I'm going to cross out five, circle the rest. Well, how many is this? Two, and then five. So now, what is your number of students that you did? I want you to turn to your partner or to the person that you have been um, whispering to and sharing your thoughts. What is the number of students that you did? You could do two plus five equals seven. Five plus two equals seven. Or if you did subtraction, seven minus five equals two. Or seven minus two equals five. So blank or share cookies. Well, how many? Which one was our mystery? Two, right? Because they did not tell us two in the word problem. Now, look at this one. We're going to do this one together. This is not on your paper. It says, Tom does not know how to solve this problem. Blank equals 8 minus 3. Well, think of it, guys, as just 8 minus 3. Well, 8 minus 3, we know that 8 is our whole. I'm going to draw my picture showing 8 minus 3. So now I'm going to take away 3, circle the rest. How many is left? 3, 4, 5. Now I'm going to write two addition sentences on these lines right here. Two addition sentences. So remember, it's your part plus your other part equals your whole. Well, what are my parts? Five and three. So five plus three equals eight. Then I have to now flip my parts. So it's three plus five equals eight. All right, so now you're going to do this one on your own. Blank equals nine minus five. I want you to draw your picture and do your two number sentences to show this. <clears throat> All right, so now looking at this, 9 minus 4, 9 is our whole. So I'm going to draw 9. This is what you should have done. Taking away 4. How many is left? 5. So now your two addition sentences is what? 5 plus 4 equals 9. In 4 plus 5 equals 9. Give me a thumbs up if you got that correct. Awesome. Now, let's move on. This one is not on your paper. So now this one, you are just going, we're going to do this one kind of together. This on the barn, on the farm, excuse me, there are four horses in the barn. Some more cows came in the barn. Now there are 10 cows in the barn. How many cows came in the barn? So now, first thing I need to do is that this right here shouldn't be horses. It should be cows. Sorry, guys. On the farm, there are four cows in the barn. Some more cows came in the barn. Now there are 10 cows in the barn. How many cows came in the barn? Okay, I'm going to read it again. On the farm, there are four cows in the barn. Some more cows came in the barn. Now there are ten cows in the barn. How many cows came in the barn? So now I'm going to do cube drawing it this time. On the farm, there are four cows. Cows, I'm going to box that in. In the barn. Some more. This is our mystery. Cows came in in the barn. Now there are 10 cows in the barn. How many cows came in the barn? <clears throat> Million dollar question. Does the right problem tell us the whole, yes or no? Thumb up or down? Yes, it does tell us the whole, which is 10. They tell us the whole, so we're going to draw the whole. What is the part? They tell us four. So we are going to cross out four, circle the rest. Now we have to do an addition sentence and a subtraction sentence. So one of each. So now I'm going to do my subtraction first. 10 minus 4 equals 6. <clears throat> now let's do our addition one. Remember, it's your two parts. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Now I could have done for subtraction 10 minus 6 equals 4. And for my addition one, I could have did 6 plus 4 equals 10. doesn't matter which way. Now we're going to do one more. This is also on your paper. Now, for this one, I'm going to read to you, and you're going to solve this one on your own. Once you're done, someone that is sitting right next to you, I want you to check your work with them. <clears throat> and I want you to see if you got the same thing. At the park, there are four kids playing. Some more kids came. Now there are eight kids playing. How many kids came to play? At the park, there are four kids playing. Some more kids came. Now there are, six, there are eight kids playing. How many kids came to play? I do cubes as I read it this time. 
At the park, there are four kids playing. Some more oh, mystery kids came. Now there are eight kids playing. How many kids came to play? All right, when you draw your picture and do your audition, answer subtraction number six, then check with someone that's right, that's right next to you to see if you got the same answer. Then, if you're at home or if you're at school, you can pause the video and then you'll see and check. You better check your work. All right, so let's see. Does the right problem tell us the whole? Yes, it does. Eight is our whole. So you showed you eight circles. What is the part they tell us? Four. Circle the rest. <clears throat> so we crossed that four. How many did we circle? Four. Good. So now you have to do an addition sentence and subtraction sentence. So my subtraction sentence is eight minus four equals four. What is my addition sentence? Four plus four equals eight. Give me a thumbs up if you got this correct. Great. Alrighty, guys. Great job. Now, what we're going to do is that I'm going to have you guys play on Reflex Math on your Chromebook for a little bit before you do science. Alrighty, guys. Have a great day. Bye.